Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorix. And in this video, and in this video I'll show you how you can install Ubuntu on VMware. Okay. So for that, first you need to open new tab and search VMware Workstation Player free download for Windows 10. So if you are using Windows 10, this is the process and of course you can download for other uh, operating system also so go on the first link here you know official site and you can scroll down here try workstation 16.0 player for windows download now and you see it's gonna start downloading here i'll show you on downloads 16.2.2 it's gonna download okay so i'll just cancel it because i have already one version and i have already installed i'll just show you here you see vmware play it's just uh, a older version 16.1.2 but it's gonna work so in your case just download the latest version and for ubuntu just go here and search i'll just put those link on the description okay so open a new tab search ubuntu So go on this first link and Ubuntu desktop LTS go on this download and you'll get the ISO file okay 2.9 GB ISO file so you see I have already downloaded it you see here so I'll just cancel it so after all this downloading process done of course it's gonna take time it's a uh, 2.9 gb here so go on the downloads and you know vmware player workstation double click here yes and it's gonna load just give it some time see here okay click on next because I have already installed so it's showing me like if you want to repair or change so I'll click on change if this uh, check those two next and change okay in your case it's gonna say install so just install it it's a simple process just click next and read those instruction agree on the permissions and just install it okay it's simple so I'll not install so I'll just terminate the process here okay and after that open I'll just minimize open VMware after you install it okay after you install it open VMware so it will install here you see I have already installed Kali Linux and Manjaro here so I'll go here create a new virtual machine click on here so here you can see I'll install the operating system later click on those and click next Linux choose from here Ubuntu Ubuntu 64 bit next location Ubuntu 64 bit next maximum disk size I'll keep it like uh, 30 check this split virtual disk into multiple files customize hardware and here you can customize your hardware like here memory I'll choose 4 GB the RAM okay I'll choose 4 GB here because I have 8 GB so I can choose 4 GB you can choose 2 GB or if you have 16 GB RAM you can choose 8 GB it's your choice go to processor number of processor cores I'll choose 2 is fine then come here on the CD DVD and here use ISO image so this is the image I'm gonna use to install it. okay so browse from here and choose that ISO image we installed here go to downloads and you see the ISO image right here with the 2.9 GB file so open and ok and it's done now you need to check uh, select this one Ubuntu 64 bit and power on I'll make it bigger now it's installing okay of course it's gonna take some time 
So, uh, so when it's fully loaded, you will see this kind of interface here. So just choose English and install Ubuntu and give it some time. Okay, English. If you want to choose another English, it's fine here and continue. Normal installation, continue. Select the default and install now. Click continue. So after it finishes, it's gonna ask a location. So you see my location already is right here. If not, just try to select it and continue again. Now it's gonna ask your name. So I'll give it my name. Then uh, it's gonna say Arjit Virtual Machine. And you here you need to pick your username. I'll do Arjit 2002. Choose your password just make sure you remember the password login automatically and continue so it took me like uh, 15 minutes to finish this process now you see installation complete okay and you just click restart now and it will restart the system inside the virtual box of course uh, VMware and Ubuntu is loading enter let it load finally it's done okay you can see Ubuntu here and now you can use it as you uh, as you wish you can log in with your Google accounts and you can create new if you want just I'm just gonna skip those skip 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 next okay just get away from those and here is your Ubuntu and here is all the apps just uh, once exit the full screen mode and again go on the full screen mode okay then the full screen version will pop up but yep there it is the full screen Ubuntu so here is your Ubuntu and this is inside the VMware and that's how the process is to install Ubuntu inside your VMware okay now you can click here and go to all the apps from there you can open terminal and use uh, it for your own purpose so whatever you want to do here so that's it for this video and after opening the terminal uh, run few comments uh, to update and if there's any issue my first suggestion will be search on Google and if you can't solve it ask on comments or you can DM me on Instagram here is your terminal you can open and here you see Arjit Parya virtual machine my user ID and if you close this machine and open it again you need to log in with your user ID or password so just remember your user ID and password so that's it for this video and I'll see you on the next video Bye -bye.